what I'm looking at is the pathway and the grass. And I believe grass is the most successful plant on the planet within its own genus. Grass. If it was a weed and we hated it, oh, you could never get it. Um, but we like it, so good for both of us. Mm. This should be the last one. I think it's like fucking 1 a.m. or something. Later. Took a, <laughs> took a nap. <coughs> it's late 30. It's been an hour and a half. I thought about the advertisement, it's a really good one. This is a bullet. It tells you what to do when you do it. Sometimes, most of the time. Except when I'm sleeping or don't want to be bothered. Um, if I don't want to be bothered, I ain't getting my clothes on to go out and have one. But it's still a bully because other times she I smoke them constantly. And they don't need to be. It's a very destructive thing to do. Smoking pot has a whole lot of things that go on that smoking cigarettes do not do. Like most drugs do, these things pretty much just addict you. I ain't gonna give you much, but I'll give you something to do. Mm. And I don't pay you, you pay me. It's full of your thumbs and people think you're nuts. <coughs> that don't... <coughs> that don't cost you nothing. And it ain't hurt. These things cost money and they hurt you. <laughs> I'm still addicted the third time. <coughs> yeah. Um, sausage and spaghetti with garlic toast. Yeah. I get lucky, I guess. <laughs> Watch the repeat of the news when I get in there. Typically, I go to bed at 10, um, and then we watch the news, but this has not been a typical two days off. Payment. These things cause me to cough a little. Well, I used to smoke pot 
just to survive. Second I woke up, second I went to bed, and, and, and I continued that for over a decade. Um, yeah, then I worked third shift for a decade. Then I worked second shift for a decade. And now I'm working on first shift for the rest of my life. Mm. Rich dad, poor dad. Who's guiding you? Well, I, I say, um, I never had no rich dad tell me anything. Uh, <coughs> being on the fair side, I say all things have a value, so I ain't gonna put nobody down. Uh, there are those that have a need to do that, but it's just not going to be me among them. <coughs> Overall, it's been satisfying. You know, I stuck there from like 2 a.m. till. Eleven, but for the first time in God knows how long, you know, I kind of nodded in and out. I watched late night tsunami, Dragon Ball Z, a bunch of crazy people, um, and, and humorous format if you understand where they're coming from um uh, they call it the adult swim children i mean really young children anybody under eight um i was supposed to say 15 but you know we're supposed to be evolving into more smart people i hope That's definitely it. Um, if there's anything left on this, it's, it's, it's just going to end. i got to hang out my phone while you watch some TV. Enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, overall, it was, like I said, a chaotic day. Two days. It wasn't really chaotic, actually. Um, it was busy. And then, well, I was sitting at the hospital for 10 hours it was annoying, but like I said, at least I got to watch shit I didn't get to see for over a decade. Seems like decades matter, right? I would say, looking at what history I know about, things usually do change in decades, at least in America. A lot of things around the rest of the world kind of stuck in place. It depends on, you know, it, it, if you look at the Earth as a diamond, there's so many facets and ways that you could look at it. If you were human, you could never in your lifetime, you know, you're really good, ever examine and appreciate all the pieces of the facets. Yeah. It just means, basically, that time and numbers really um, And who the hell created them? What in hell, by the way? Just, oh shit, I don't care. It can run uh, you know, until I leave and then it's done.
sure looking forward to going in and hanging out with my wife for a while. Watch whatever TV there is that we both can watch. She never watched Don't Swim unless we were stuck someplace that she couldn't change the channel or complain about it. I won't see that again for a long time. It was nice. It was all right. Just because I actually got to see it, you know. It's on every night when I'm done dreaming about something else. Because I play, uh... Bubble Safari, that's my chosen free time game. <sighs> when we get home after buying it, <coughs> before we had to go to the hospital. During that three hour period, I had one particular dream that sticks out. And I, I, kept, I went back to it a couple of times, nodding in and out. The, some of the bubbles were bright yellow, <laughs> just like the car. And, uh, you know, I was matching bright yellow bubbles in the clouds. Um, it was a good dream. You know, there was nothing negative. I, I think that's a good place to uh, burn some mental time, actually. Mm. Anyway, then I then she got me up three hours. Three, <laughs> not, not much after I was dreaming about that. And I'm thinking she's, well, I'm thinking she's, could have waited. Probably still could have, but not much. And, and this was done in the two days off, which is probably the best way to do it. If, if you ain't going to go to a place by yourself, you better do it within the two days off. Um... actually uh, taking snooze time on the uh, hospital. I was there for a week, so I'm kind of comfortable with it, though I don't want to be there anymore than I have to. But I took as much snooze as I could in between somebody doing something. So I felt, <laughs> you know, that's how I ended up here tonight. So. Um... <laughs> I'm so glad she's home. I'm going to hang out with her for a while before I crash. I did kill it, okay. I don't need this, do I? Not really. <coughs> <coughs> Good night, y'all. I love you. And, you know, and I really hope you can love me back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>